Hi, my name is Jason with Kinsey Manufacturing. Here at Kinsey, we realize that planting comes around once a year. So we produced the following video to help you to review essential operation of the 4900 electric drive planter using the Kinsey Virtual Terminal. The centrifugal pump fertilizer option on a 4900 is a hydraulically driven pump that requires four gallons a minute just to run the fertilizer pump. The standard orifice that comes in the centrifugal pump common rail system from Kinsey is a 37 thousandths orifice and recommended operating pressure going through the field on your pressure gauge should be somewhere between the 30 and 40 PSR mark. Refer to the chart in the rate chart section of the operator's manual if a different orifice is desired depending on speed and desired rate. The fertilizer set screens on the virtual terminal are under our fertilizer tab as noted on the right hand side of the screen. If we tap on our fertilizer tab, it takes us to our options. Number one, to set it on basic or prescription. So if we just want a set rate to run all the time, we select basic. If we have a prescription map for our fertilizer, we of course select prescription. We can then set our rate below. In this case, it's set to five gallons an acre. And of course, the bottom allows us to turn the system on or off depending on crop and management decision. In our case, we want it on, so the fertilizer is on. The bottom of the screen, we have two buttons. We have a prime and we have a flush. The prime feature simply turns all of the electronic shutoffs on when the planter is up to simply prime the system. This would be used if the planter has sat overnight, you have stopped to fill, but are still using the same product. The flush feature allows you to run or have the shutoffs stay open until you physically want them to close. This would be used if you're changing to a brand new product where everything is empty, or you are simply cleaning or flushing out the system between products, or at the end of the season, you are physically cleaning out the entire system for storage. The prime feature when pressed, once you press it, it goes through a 10 second prime feature and then stops. The flush feature, if you tap on it, notes that pressing start to run the pump, it will operate until stop is pressed. Once you press start, all of the shutoff valves will open, fertilizer will be dispensed on the ground until you press stop. Once you press stop, flush is finished, we can hit back and ready to continue planting. This is the general set rate page, prime and flush. The other setting as noted in your 4900 quick reference guide is at the bottom and they are specific to deeper settings for the fertilizer system. By going to the planter menu tab, going to settings, we'll have the icon for fertilizer down here in the lower left. On this page is a, several rows of information. These are all factory set and very rarely need to be changed. The ones that we can use for diagnostic purposes are our flow meter pulses per gallon, our gain setting, which is located right here above your flow sensor alarms, that can be changed or lowered for a more accurate control at a very low rate range. Our flow sensors allow the individual row flow sensor to indicate if there is no fertilizer flowing. At the bottom of your screen, we have our gallons per acre, which is the same as what we have set at. This is actual applied going through the field. We have each row listed below. And then each flow switch below it, indicating if it shows fertilizer going through it or not. This is a good tool to use as you're going through the field to make sure that your flow switches are seeing fertilizer to ensure that it is applying correctly. Well, thank you for watching. We hope you found the video helpful. For more quick reference videos just like this one, make sure you go to kinsey.com or to the Kinsey Manufacturing YouTube channel.